Well, here it is, the 62 Princeton Chris Stapleton edition. This is something I never, ever in my entire lifetime thought I would see is me getting my very own Fender amp. It's a reissue of a 1962 Princeton, which they have never uh, reissued. They hadn't been made since 1962. And uh, this is an amp that uh, it's taken me a long time to get to this amp. I've gone through several several incarnations of using amplifiers. My first amp was a was a VibroChamp, an old '64 VibroChamp, and I liked the sound of it. I liked uh, the vibrato it had on it. They didn't have tremolo; they had vibrato on those amps. But it just wasn't loud enough. I couldn't get loud enough with that amp. So then I got a 410 Basement, another Fender amp, and I played with that amp for quite a while. But it was a heavy amp when I was younger, and I used to be around in clubs. And then I went to Cincinnati, Ohio, and I was writing with a friend of mine in Cincinnati. And I went uh, in a music shop, and they had an old 62 Princeton amp. And I really, really liked the amp in the store. It was just kind of sitting in the corner gathering dust. And uh, I walked out of there with that amp. I think I gave $900 for it. And uh, it kind of became an amp. Hope that I would be using in the studio quite a bit, but the one, the original one I had had the 10-inch speaker in it. That was the original 10-inch speaker, and then I got to where I really liked to use that amp pretty much exclusively, but I never could really use it live. So I was still using these really big Fender amps, uh, basements, and uh, I had another head. It's like a 100 watt head, but I, I found myself using these heads and these high wattage Fender amps at, at really low volume, so I'm not killing everybody and. Uh, eventually I got tired of carrying those things and I said, you know, I'm going to hunt for something else. And, and, and another one of these old Princeton's came up on Craigslist, but someone had modified it and put a 12-inch speaker in it. And I got that amp and that's been the amp that I've played on stage since the day I got it. Uh, you know, you can turn it up and, and be really, you know, rock and roll about it or you can turn it down and be really tender and, and sweet about it. But um, it, it hangs in there with any drummer and it doesn't make uh, anybody in your band want to kick you out of the band. So fast forward, I've played these old amps, and I, as I've been on the road, I've collected several of them, but you know, they're old amps, so they're, I'm trying to uh, keep these old amps in working order and you know, have them going around in trucks and getting handled and different weather and things outside. And, and so I, I came to Fender and, and I asked them, I said, hey, could you build me one of these amps? And, and they said, well, we could, we could build one, can we sell them? <laughs> and I thought, well, that'd be great. I just really need one for, for myself. And uh, so we took a, a good amount of time, you know, probably a year and a half, really digging in with some, some prototypes back and forth and, and trying to get the, all the nuances of the, of the magic of what um, makes those old amps really sing. And they have done a phenomenal job in every possible respect of replicating um, what the magic of, of the 1962 Princeton is. And it's, you know, it's, it's all specked out just like the old ones. I mean, it's, um, it's not just cosmetic. It doesn't just look like it's an old amp. It's internally and sonically and construction wise, they really, dug in and, and made this amp what it's supposed to be. It's a really easy amp to use, which is another thing that I love about it. It's a volume and a tone and a speed and intensity for a, a tremolo switch. Now the brown face tremolo, that's one of the main reasons I love this amp. It, uh, you know, you get uh, 64 and beyond, uh, the tremolo changes to more of a vibrato thing. I don't know, what, there'll be amp guys who will tell me what's what on that, but it's different, regardless of whatever it's called. And um, this tremolo, the brown face tremolo on this amp 
is a magic, magic thing. There's not a pedal that does it. There's not a, a plug-in in a computer that does it. It just doesn't exist outside of, uh, of either one of these new amps or, you know, get, get yourself an old one. And that's a really cool thing to me to hear that sound coming out of something new. I didn't think it could be done to be honest with you. And uh, when they got to the final thing where they were like, I, th I think this is it, they showed up in an arena for a sound check and we just sat them side by side, turned, put microphones on them and a little AB switch and we, we kept switching between them and I couldn't tell you the difference, honestly. It hasn't laid down on us. We've been using them all the way across. When Dave Cobb comes out on the road, that's what we're using for electric guitars on the stage uh, out on the road right now. And it's an amp that's easy enough that a kid could learn how to use it, and it's small enough that you can carry around if you're playing club gigs, but it more than does the job if you're playing um, in arenas and stadiums and things like that. It, they've done above and beyond what any I thought any amp builder could do. You know, and you could go hunt boutique amps and all that kind of stuff. That this is beyond that. It's 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 an actual. It's the real deal. You know, it's not like somebody's take on something. And, couldn't be prouder of it, and, and I'm so thankful to Fender for doing this um, because now I know I don't have to go on the endless hunt for old amps. I have, I have these amps to kind of carry me through, and I'll get to play them um, probably till the day I die. But, you know, if you have notions of getting one, it comes with a, a Filson amp cover, just like the old days. It's a canvas, real heavy-duty, nice cover, and... and uh, the speaker's a custom thing that we tweaked out uh, to get it to where we liked it. Uh, the guys at Eminence did that. And has, you know, has a little bit of badging on the back, but if you don't, aren't into playing somebody's signature model, it still just looks like a, looks like an old one on the stage. And um, like I said, if, if, you, if you're looking for an amplifier, this is one that'll serve you for a long, long time and, and uh, do lots and lots of things. Um, just about anything you're trying to do. There it is, the uh, 62 Princeton Chris Stapleton edition.